Hey guys, welcome to another Unity tutorial today, and this is going to be creating a hinge door, or a door which we can push against with a rigid body character, and be able to open it, put some limits on the door so it can't open too far, and when we push again on the other side, we can do the same. So I have a pack on the Unity store which includes loads of examples of the hinge door, raycast doors, trigger doors and other things like that. You can get hold of that for free and be sure to leave me some feedback and give me your comments on that if you like it. Be sure to check out my Patreon if you want to support the channel and check out my other great assets on the Unity store. So what you want if you've got a particular door in your scene. Well, I've got one here which is provided in my pack. All it is is a 3D object and I've got the pivot on this side. Now how do we do it? We also need the first person controller which you can get from the Unity Asset Store which would be from the standard assets and you can bring in the first person controller and it will have a rigid body and a script so that when we walk into the door or do something we'll be able to push it open. So if we go back onto our door we need to make sure that first thing is it's got a box collider because we're going to need to collide with it unless just walk through otherwise. Then what we can do is we can add a hinge joint which is just a normal hinge joint and it will add a rigid body for us. That's part of the step and with the original hinge joint in Unity you can sometimes connect a connected rigid body. So if you wanted something place it here and it would act as your anchor so then you could pivot between it. But with this version you can auto configure the anchor so you only need to set this yourself so you can see that this small little brown arrow which is not the gizmo to move and rotate and do anything with the object this brown arrow is going to act as our anchor point where we're going to rotate from so what you can do is that on depending on how you brought in your object or depending on how the axes are oriented in my case here I can adjust the Y value and I want to get it directly into roughly the center of my object. In this case, not minus 0.025. And you can see that it's in the very center of my door because it will be at the edge of your collider. And because my collider is quite wide because of the door handle, it does it like that. Now, we also need to make sure that this arrow is pointing upwards so then we can pivot along the correct axis. Because if not, we would pivot sort of if we push against it if I show you here, then the door would pivot as such from the direct center. And that's not what we want. Maybe if you wanted a door like that, you could do it, but we want a normal door. And now in this case, like I said, we want the arrow up. And what I like to do is I like to set the Z value in this. So it's 90 degrees or up in the air at 90. So then we play the game. You can see that we can walk into it and the door spins like that infinitely around and around depending if we stop it like so. So with that said we can set some limits and things to be able to stop it you know being able to do a weird sort of rotating door unless that's what you wanted. You can do a load of things with this and it's worth testing out but if you use below the motor and you use use limits and we set the limit to minus 90 degrees it will only ever go to minus 90 and be able to come back to its original position. We can walk into it again, you can see it's limited to that minus 90 degrees as if the door was open. And we can push it back like so. Then what we can do is we could set the bounciness of the door so when it does hit that um, angle that we're going to go to, we'll just set it to 0 0.1 so it'll just bounce back a little bit. So you can see that we do get something a little bit realistic and you can set lots of different parameters to enabling collisions and being able to set the velocity or the distance, the mass of the objects because it will be easier to actually get it to be able to push it with the rigid body depending on the rigid body that we've set for this object and the one we've got on our actual controller itself. So this was just a really simple way to be able to control where the pivot would be, how to rotate the pivot, put a limit to limit the rotation of the door, make it a little bit bouncy, and to be able to do little things from there. So hopefully this gave you a little bit of an insight into how to do it. So be sure to check out my community discord, support me on Patreon if you like the channel, be sure to check out my great assets on the Unity store, check this free asset out on the Unity store too, and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.